court to hire an attorney one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand these rights? We had people from all walks of life, including an actor, driving up in a convertible sports car. Who made a mistake? Stinky. In Riverside County, we had a very diverse group of men show up. We had the teacher. We had an agent with the Department of Homeland Security. We had people from all walks of life, including an actor who we see driving up to our hidden camera house in a convertible sports car. And he's here to meet a young teenage boy. What's up? Hi, how are you? Why don't you have a seat right there? What's going on? How you doing? Chris. Good. How are you? You're Chris? Yeah. What you doing here? I was invited. By? By who? Well, who did you think you were talking to? I thought I was talking to Luke. Luke. And how old do you think Luke is? I thought he was 18. He's told me. 18? Yeah. I try again? Uh... If he's young, I apologize. I didn't know. I the problem, Chris, is that I have the transcripts. So I already know what you said. So it would be probably better for you to tell the truth right up front. Oh, I made a mistake. So why don't you just tell me what happened? First time I've ever done this. The first time you've ever done this? Yes. And how old are you, Chris? 34. 34. And you thought it was okay to send this kind of material to a 13-year-old boy, why? You're right, it wasn't right. You're asked, you not working? Because I'm rich, laugh out loud. Way? Not way rich, but enough to support myself comfortable. And not work? I do work, just not very often. What do you do for a living, Chris? Just, I work in uh, background movies. In movies? And television. And television. And what do you do for movies and television? I understand and work. Like as an actor? Yeah. He says, I want to be a model. You say, I can see that. You're sexy enough. Really? Or are you just saying that? Nope, I think you're hot. I'm this. Can we blank each other? Totally. How many dudes you been with? So tell me what you want to do in the shower. And you get into detail about what you're going to do with him in the shower, a 13-year-old boy. And then you say, I can't I really made a mistake. You can't help but feel sorry for some of these guys. But then when you go back and you reread the transcript and you see the explicit nature of what was said, you feel less sorry for them. And then you say, and you're not some cop on a sting operation? I mean, that indicates that you were worried that you were doing something wrong. I know. Right? I know. I normally don't meet guys as young as you. Then you send this. He asked tonight. You know, that's against the law. No, no, I'll take that back. That's against the law right there. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm ashamed. I was going to turn around halfway, and you know, and then he calls. He's like, "Where are you?" And I don't know. I just wasn't thinking right, and I felt terrible. And this was seriously the first time, and I knew I was taking a huge risk. And I... So you knew what you were doing was wrong. And I, I mean, even when I got here, I was still kind of wondering. Like, I probably shouldn't do this. And... Why did you do it then? Tell me what was going on in your mind. Just... I mean, do you have a compulsion, an addiction to this internet activity? Actually, no. I mean, I go online, but it's, you know, majority just to talk and chat and all that. And, you know, sometimes if I meet a guy, you know, they are, you know, at least over 18. You know, and I normally have people come over to my place um, and all that, and this was just the first time, and I don't know why I did, and I just, I know I made a huge mistake, and I... 
Well, you know how people re will react when they see this. I mean, this does not look good. I know. I know. Chris, what would have happened if I hadn't been here? What would have gone on in this house? Um. I mean, you sure sound like you knew here what you wanted to do. Yeah, but I mean, but I'm... I mean, it's hard to draw any other conclusion from this. And there's a, there are a couple of different laws that have been broken here. The picture and using the internet with the intent to have sex with an underage person. I mean, what am I supposed to do here? You tell me. You'll never do it again. Why should anybody believe that? You see what I'm saying? So you've been in movies, you've been on television. Well, you're about to get another role because I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC and we're doing a story on computer predators. You're free to go, but if there's anything else you'd like to say, we'd be happy to hear it. You have to wonder, obviously, when you're talking to an actor, if he's not putting on an act then and there. But I think reality sunk in pretty quickly with Sea Beach Dude. And I think he knew he was in trouble and he knew uh, that this was not going to be a great day for him. So I think it was, uh, it was really him we saw at our house in Riverside County, California.